Yes. You bought your tickets? Not yet, but I will. Okay. The night is, is, is young. Here now, man who gambles for a living, but it's all uh, legal, right? Oh, Marcus? man, <laughs> Neil. Well, hey, there's a big payoff. Well, I, I, sure, sure. Rain, rain moving back in. Yeah. We, we probably need some more rain. We'll, we'll take it. Your chance of rain tomorrow, very likely perhaps than winning the jackpot. But good luck if you are going to play. I'm not, not saying you shouldn't play. Temperatures in the 50s for us and near 60 degrees. Do so wisely if you choose to. We have cloud cover that's picking up for us today, but this is all in response to our next weather system. Yeah, rain is on the way for tomorrow. Another upper level low. Thankfully, though, this one moving to the southeast instead of coming in out of Mexico. That brought a lot of rain last week, but the heaviest rain expected tomorrow. But then Thursday, this low Oh, still nearby. It's going to keep us with clouds, some light rain, but then also colder temperatures as we move toward our Thursday period. Let's look at future cast as we track that rain that's going to move in. No problems for us this evening, but increasing low level clouds will be on the way overnight tonight. And we will start tomorrow morning with a couple of showers around. Now, as we get closer to mid morning, rain coverage will gradually begin to pick up for us. Even a few embedded thunderstorms cannot be ruled out, but some heavy downpours in some areas at times. Now, the main time frame for the most significant and the most heaviest rain happening between two and about six to seven o'clock. Notice this heavier rain band. This is right with the cold front that's going to pass through in the late afternoon. I can't rule out an isolated strong storm that's possible in deep east Texas wind gust the primary concern but also a very low chance for an isolated tornado there's seven o'clock storm still ending over our eastern counties near the Texas and Louisiana border and by 10 o'clock yeah some rain still left over but the majority of us will be done with the precipitation for Wednesday but watch what happens Thursday that cloud cover still going to be impacting us so wraparound moisture still expected to bring us some chilly weather on Thursday, maybe even some light rain Thursday that could have a sleep pellet or a snow flurry mixed in with it. This is not a three and a half to five and a half inch rainfall event like what we had last Wednesday and Thursday. But some areas may be in that one to two inch range. Temperatures not as warm tomorrow either. We'll be in the 50s and near 60. But notice Thursday a lot colder. Highs in the 40s for us thanks to the clouds and that very light precipitation chance. Clouds slowly decrease by Friday afternoon. We start the weekend dry and then more rain, perhaps a wintry mix on Sunday. Temperatures there in the 30s. We've got to keep a close eye on that. We're monitoring for it in the storm center. Rain and storms tomorrow in deep east Texas and then chilly and cold Thursday. That's gambling right there. Mm -hmm. All right.